or this before names because if you look at this sign, you're also looking at the end of the county. You're looking at the street <coughs> sign on the same eye level. I didn't do my due diligence, but I would have brought that picture. Ms. Holly, you have a question? I have a question for Mr. Collins. Did I understand you correctly to say that when y'all were working through this with all of the businesses, that it was kind of an understood thing that there would be five businesses located on this sign? Well, the number of what you understood me to say is um, that that the that the that the mobile station has always been involved in this particular entrance. In other words. If you could go back, let me just show you. Let me just explain something you guys can tell you. Alright? Here's your alignment. Okay, through here. This is the mobile gas station. This is the ends, okay? What you basically have here is the, the Williams on the easement across here to get access across here. And the property is actually owned by the ends, okay? What we have is we have a cross, um, we have a, an agreement where anybody from mobile cross through here, that, you know, Denny's people can come over to here, that the two hotels in the back can also, um, can use this. So all of the parties here, anybody going here or there or to the new, uh, to the other restaurant, uh, the Hurricane Grill when it comes in, or the two hotels in the back are, are, will use this entrance. So what this sign does is a marquee and the sign that's over here, um, it would allow folks to see that they can get to any of those businesses through here. However, what the Williams is what we're talking about is in addition to that, should they pass the intersection, just so you know, they're headed west of the town, should, uh, I'm sorry, east of the town, should they pass the intersection, there is a driveway that's being put in. These are the pumps right here for the gas station. There's a driveway that's being put in here and if you, if you don't turn in here, you can access it all the same office. You can go directly into the mobile station. Okay? So, so um, I don't know if that helps you at all. I mean, you're coming along. All right. Um, I guess what they're saying that is if the sign doesn't include them, you know, you just pass the entrance and then you can, you can turn right into mobile. Okay. But it does but, show that you can. But it can, does show that you can get access from if you turn in here into the mobile station. So, um, and and of course, from the very beginning, let me just tell you about something else background just so that you know it. Originally, you know the intersection was over here at Link, um next to the Wendy's, and what was going to happen is DOT was forcing us. I just don't know what your history was on this. DOT was forcing us to close off the entrance drive up window on the Wendy's. And we were we were really going to adversely impact and probably have to pay Wendy's damages for that. Um, the other thing is from a safety standpoint, a 90 degree intersection has better site visibility for folks. And so if you always want to try to have a 90 degree into the roadway if you can or as close to 90 as you can. So what happened was we talked about um, bringing this up to a 90 degree intersection and it would line up nicely with the entrance over here going into the Denny's and back into the hotels. That seemed to be the silver bullet because it was it was taking away the problem with Wendy's. Uh, the mobile station was okay with it. Um, um, otherwise, what was going to happen, by the way, when the intersection was over here, they were actually going to go, you'd go into the mobile station on the east side of the building, right in the west side. Okay, so um, the Williams, Mr. Mr. you know, all the Williams, um, they were, they liked the idea of it, and, and, and so did um, so did Denny's. It just made a lot of sense. It was almost like a silver bullet. And everybody worked very hard, like what Mr. Williams said, um, uh, to collaborate this thing. And now it, it's just a matter of design, and, and I guess um, there's, there's some differing opinions, which is what he said. Um, uh, amongst the parties, but there are five businesses that you can get access into here once they develop the other hurricane drill. Okay. So I'm not sure what the gas can do this to see Yeah, they can see what the gas can do. That's what I was showing them. Here's the, this is the canopy and this is the three pumps that are there. Okay. 
I mean, it has mobile on the counter. All three sides. Right. 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 So the sign with the five businesses shows an interconnection, parking lot wise, that you could hop from this side to this side and you wouldn't meet up with a barrier and have to go back out on the street. And also, a lot of people like to go to a traffic light to get back onto a major road like St. Augustine. So it shows that you could be at mobile and instead of coming right out and having to deal with traffic, you could go catch a light. There at the That's the purpose of having the easement. That's the only thing. And or making the left turn out safer. Right, right. But the light simplifies things. Okay. <coughs> one, one, additional, oh, excuse me, one additional item on the north side of uh, 133 St. Augustine Road. When we sold Starbucks, we retained uh, sign uh, rights with a billboard. Get the DOT to relocate that billboard as we're having to relocate it here. We had to remove it. Had nothing to do with it. We had to remove a seven-year sign in Tifton. It was very important to us to get the DOT to approve this movement. So again, we didn't ask for compensation. We asked, and, and like I say, uh, the engineering department and zoning department has been very knowledgeable and very. They put much due diligence into this, but we go back to everybody served and whatever you approve for Williams to sign off that, that this doesn't have anything to do with this board. We won't have to have half the sign of the ID sign because we've got to have an investment there that we're going to take to the best of our ability. Well, I'm glad to make a motion. Well, Okay, we, we, we've heard from present, we've heard from the pro, is there anyone here in opposition to this request or is there anyone here that has questions about what is being requested? Was there any contact with your office, Mr. Martin, concerning any of this that we need to be aware of? No, sir, no contact is made. Any other questions, any other discussions from the board at this time? <clears throat> Can I entertain a request on, I mean, a motion on this request? I have one. I don't think anybody's going to second it, but I think that uh, I, I move to approve sign option B, about 28 square feet of copy, copy area, um, with a condition that the applicant delete all four directional signs currently in place in the subject property along St. Augustine Road. I think that's fair. Where they get their extra sign area and then take some away. Signing criteria? Signing criteria. Well, do we have to sign yes. all criteria now? All right, you have the variance review criteria in your package. You can make reference to all of them collectively. They're all okay. in favor of the variance. Yeah. Just right. So they can make all a criteria. finding that it satisfactorily complies with the variance review criteria. Absolutely. It's the intent of the variance criteria. Okay, we have motion on the floor. From Mr. Dave Kirk to grant the request as presented for sign B. With the stipulation that the additional directional signs on the western entrance be deleted because the ones on the eastern are already going to be deleted with this sign. Correct? Correct. Question for the board for clarification um, Is this for a specific sign design like we see here? or is it for a directional sign with these configurations? In other words, 28 square feet not to exceed six feet in height. Uh, that, that's it. Okay, <laughs> that's it. This is not the This is not the Let me. We're, we're, in, we're in the middle of a motion, Mr. Williams. Hold on. Okay, we have motion on the floor. Do I have a second? I'll second that. I'm pretty good with that. I, I, like I said, I'd like to come down the road, see the sign marks, to go in and go in there. 
Okay, I have motion on the floor for Mr. Kirk. We have second from Ms. Corland. All in favor, please raise a hand and hold it so I can count. One, two, three. All opposed. One, two, three. So we have a tie. I get to earn my pay this week. Before I'm you do going, that, let me try to get the right three with the right three. Those okay. in favor were Ms. Gretchen and, Dave, and Dave and Dr. Howell were in favor. Hobby and Orenstein and Alvarado were in opposition. And I'm going to vote a cast, a cast a vote against it and see if we can get another motion. Alright. So at that point, we're back to square one. Can we entertain a motion on this item?